Hey dude, um, I've been posting a lot of videos tonight, but one of the topics that's been coming up a lot and people keep asking my opinions on are what are my opinions on sex and being sexually active and how I think my me being transgender will affect my sex life and things like that. Realize, take into account I'm 16, but it's something you gotta think about. Am I having sex right now? No. Do I plan on having sex in the near future? It's possible, not right now. It's possible. Um, do I necessarily have an issue with strap-ons? Not really. Um, it has to be comfortable with the girl to use a strap-on. I mean, I don't, I'm not, I don't like lesbian sex, so I'm not really looking for that. Um, in my future, I hope that the first time that I have sex will be with my own penis. Um, and I'll be a complete man when I have sex. Um, but I also know that that could be a far stretch, so I don't really know where my life's going to lead me in that case. Um, as far as which surgery I plan on doing, I think I'm leaning more towards phalloplasty because I think it looks more realistic than medioplasty. And honestly, if you're going to go through all that money and effort and time and pain for surgery, don't you want it to look real? <laughs> like, duh. I mean, n totally not against many places. I know the feeling is a lot better and things like that, but for me personally, I think I'm a phalloplasty guy for the fact of I want, you know, size and shape to be more realistic, and feeling isn't so important to me. So, that's what I'm looking for. Um, as far as my belief in sex, I used to believe in sex after marriage. Not because of my religion, because obviously, you know, I've shared before on this website that I am an atheist. But, I do believe that sex shouldn't necessarily come after marriage, but sex needs to come in love. It needs to be in an agreement between two people when you feel for each other the way that you should. Um, I don't necessarily think you have, not think that you have to, you know, believe in sex after marriage, but you should believe in sex after you're with someone for a while, and you gotta know the person better than you know yourself. Um, I'm a very sexual person, as you can tell. Um, I kinda, you know the saying, you know, your bark's worse than your bite? I talk about sex all the time, doesn't mean I'm doing it. Um, I've looked into prosthetics and stuff like that, and they're like, some prosthetics go for thousands of dollars. And who the F wants to spend thousands of dollars on a prosthetic when you're about to spend thousands of dollars on surgery? So you guys out there who make prosthetics, you might want to make them a little cheaper, you'll probably get more people to buy them, and I know the product to make it doesn't cost as much as what you're selling it. So if you want to bring those down a little bit, that'd be awesome, because then I might actually buy one. Because I don't know if any of you guys have ever seen a prosthetic. Um, I can't personally put one on the video because of how realistic it looks. Um, it'll I'll get flagged on YouTube and they could delete me, so I'm not looking for that. But if you go on to there's a website that does prosthetics. Let me see if I can pull it up. There is if I go to Google FTM prosthetics. Okay. Go to FTM. Not F2M, FTM, prosthetics, P R O S T H E T I C S dot com. It's going to ask you if you're 18 or older, you can just click enter. I never said that, but you can just click enter. Um, once you get into that website, I'm on it right now, it'll bring you into um, pictures of different kind of prosthetics. Some of them you can use for sex, as like a strap on, things like that. Not necessarily, you know, not needed. But, um, these prosthetics are also good with, um, they stay on for a really long time. You can use, like, glue and stuff for them, like body glue. Um, instead of, like, me, where I have to line off every, like, six hours, you can use these for, you know, days at a time. You can shower with it standing out. You may, you know, other than gluing it, you really don't have to ever see your vagina again. Which is really great, because, you know, until your pre-op pictures for surgery, you could end up just like that for a very long time. I don't know if anything I just said made sense. <laughs> um, oh, you can see my brand new guitar right here. See? It's right there, the black one. It's gorgeous. Um, I figured since I've been playing a lot more on here, 
But I just will get a guitar that actually sounds good, because I've been playing with this one over here. This, I mean, that one right over there, right here, which sucks because it got two broken strings. Which is why when I play guitar online, I, I feel bad for you people because, dude, I'm playing with something that has two broken strings. So I went out and got that black one over there, which you can't even see on here because it is so fucking dark. Those are five, one, two, three, four, five, and the sixth one is is a black one over there, sitting right there. I don't really think there's anything else that I need to discuss with you guys. I'm like trying to figure it out. You guys want to see something cool? I got this thing like a year ago, but I think you might think it's cool. So. Okay, you see this? I don't know how well you can see it. It's etched in glass. It's kind of cool. It says 9-11-2001, New York. Um, and etched into it is the rainbow in the back with the flag, um, the Statue of Liberty, the Twin Towers, and the buildings surrounding the Twin Towers. Um, I can't see so well, but I think the Empire State Building's in there. That look kind of cool, the rainbow. Um, but yeah, you can see in there. Uh, it's kind of all etched in there, but, you know, 9-11-2001 New York, and kind of picked this up, because I thought it was kind of cool, it's like gay pride, and honestly, I think that was like my coming out moment, this was like, you know, probably two, three years ago, and this is before I was even out as a lesbian, and I like, walked over, and I went, I want that one, like, could you tell I was gay? Duh! <laughs> but, so yeah, I picked up this, um, it is... 3.45 a.m. Like, not even kidding. Like, is it 3.45 a.m.? Like, 3.46! Do you see that? Do you see it changing at 3.46? What the fuck am I still doing now? Okay, so, yeah, I'm, I'm supposed to clean my room. So, no one tell my mother that I'm making videos at 3.46 a.m. to clean my room. I'm getting better. Look at my bed. It's a mess. But, um, yeah, I still have a chick room. Why do I have a chick room? I don't know. But, I do. Um, I've actually, I've gotten a, while I'm talking about this, I wasn't going to bring it up, but I might as well, so that you guys know that this is how I feel. I've been getting a lot of letters from girls who, I got a couple asking me out. I'm not so interested in those. But, um, you know, I will respond to those, you know. You talk me up enough, I might actually rather do. But, um, a lot of people who are interested in my looks and things like that who have seen what I looked like when I was a female if you haven't go check out my transition videos I've been told that I've looked so hot when I was a girl which I find really funny because I didn't think so I actually I probably would have dated myself when I was a girl I was pretty damn sexy I'm just kidding but um so go check those out if you get some minutes um anyone who's up at 347 like I am you should die in a hole because we are not normal people um other than that, I think that's pretty much it. Um, I'm IMing people at 3.47. What is wrong with me? I'm never going to bed. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. I'm pretty much blabbering to all of you. If you're still watching this video, you are awesome. Like, literally, if you've made it to this point where it's like 9 minutes in, and you're still watching this video, you must really like talking, like listening and talking to me because... It's 3.47 and I'm blabbering to you. Um, I'm going to end this here while I still have my dignity intact. By the way, before I throw this out, I saw this movie tonight. If you can see it. Greatest movie in the world. I never thought it would be funny. Every line is sexual. And this guy, okay, he puts like these this pair of underwear on this girl that she doesn't know. But it has like a vibrator in like the panties. Dude, this girl has an orgasm at dinner table, like dinner table, with her business partners. It's the funniest thing in the world. If you have time, go see The Ugly Truth. Um, it's rated R, but just go. It's awesome. And yeah, I'm gonna leave on that note that that is the greatest movie I've probably ever seen. So, go see it. Bye.